Welcome back, everybody. So last episode, I revealed my zombie church. So we have all the exterior basically done. I do need to do landscaping around it. And I did stick with, uh, you know, I've got the green, blues, and lime green, which are zombie colors. So that's kind of sticks with the theme there. So, you know, it's a zombie church or church of the zombie. And then as you go in, I made sure you could see this prominently as soon as you come in the door. That's your main focus. And then this is the main cathedral. So we're going to have some pews along the side. We've got this big arching ceiling here, but I need a little bit, you know, a little extra in there. Because I think some interior support beams would be good. And I'm not just going to go straight across, you know, nice and flat. Let's go up, up, up. No, so I want to go out like this. And let's see if I... I hate you, when you crouch on the scaffolding, you sink in. So. Oh, it's a little dark up here. See if I can get this. So we're gonna want to kind of arc this all the way across until we're like halfway here. Let's put a. I'm just gonna put a torch here temporarily. I have to get rid of those, just so I can see where I'm at. Oh, boy, that hurt. Luckily, I made a lot of scaffolding, so I figure I'm going to need it. So let's go whoa, up farther. Okay, here we go. So this will go here. What the? I seem to be falling off the scaffolding much easier than I normally would. Or even on dirt. Let's see, we got this. Damn it. Sorry about that. That's ridiculous. I got pain in the butt. There. Maybe that will help. Okay, I don't need this one here. So this is going to go, I'm trying to match up. I'm going to have something coming down like that. There. Yeah, so then this will go down the other way. Now I can't see. I'm trying to see where my column is right there. Okay. Let me get rid of those. Get rid of those. It's like this up here. Here. One, two, three, four. We have a big block here. Two there. There we go. Look at that. I mean, you can't really see it because of the, uh, it's so dark. Maybe I should go get a nap. Yeah, let me go uh, set it to daylight so we can actually see what the heck we're doing. It did not take long to... Uh, Get a zombie to spawn around here. I 
which I will use to my advantage later on. Not, not in this episode, maybe not in the next one, but at some point I will take advantage of having, since all of this uh, island is basically lit up now, any, any dark spots, as soon as you get out of range, they'll spawn. So I had a zombie spawn right there on that block. And he uh, didn't take him long to get there. Let's uh, go across here. Huh. I'm sure they can walk on the scaffolding. I was just sort of surprised that they weren't. So while we have this out here, so on this side, let's do. Oops. So I've got the one arch going there, and I think I. Uh, so I should be able to go through here and do this other. Like this. Although I may have to go back and look. I'm not sure what the. Uh, what it's going to be. Ooh, I can't reach. Dang it. Not quite sure what it's going to look like once I get to the top. I'm trying to do this from memory. I'll have to go back and look at my design. Yeah, so it'll look like that. Uh, I think, yeah, I think that'll be it. And then it'll go back down this other way. Yeah, so from here up. Like that. Now, when I was doing the time lapse from the last episode, I was in Light Medica, so I could see so I could see the uh, schematic. You can't see it, but I could. Now I've got that turned off, so I've kind of got to do this, uh, kind of go driving by ear here. Let's see if I can get, there we go. There, I kind of got to get underneath the roof there, there. Ah, perfect. And up. There. Ah, oops. Ah, oh, oh, okay. I thought I was going to fall. I was anticipating me falling. Uh, let's get rid of all this. Clear this out, clear this out. I'm going to have to rebuild it up there anyhow. Just so I can get a good look. There we go. So that is how the roof beams will look. So I'm going to have one of those there. Um, I'll have another one here and another one there. So I'll have three of those roof boom beams going across there. And so I need to get rid of that torch. And I think that is going to look pretty good up there. And it won't block the view of the zombie. But it gets rid of this flat plain roof that we got, or ceiling we got going up there. Because even though this is, it's impressive, it's got this nice big cavernous roof for opening. It really needs uh, needs these beams across to make it look complete because it looks a little, if you look at this side, it looks really bare, but over there it actually looks pretty good. So I just have a couple more of those to add in.
Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. Just kind of puts that support structure, those ribs up there to support the ceiling and the roof. Yeah, so that elevates it up just a little bit. And then some additional things I want to add in. I want to like put this like an arch. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Let's get rid of this. I don't know why. I've got a uh, got a piece of glowstone there, but it's going to be covered up. I don't want that. Oh, I need um I need to get a silk touch because I don't want to lose that glowstone. Hello, maybe that was in my original design. But not anymore. So I thought it'd be good to kind of beef this up, make these a little bit beefier here. Something like that. Maybe that bottom one didn't actually, I don't think that bottom one actually goes there. Maybe that's why the glowstone was there. I'll do a compromise. Let's get rid of these. I'm going to put the glowstone here. That way it'll be like, like in the walkway. Yeah, because this is going to do this. Oops. That. Let's get up here. Yeah, so all these window arches, I want to extend them out. Make them a bit beefier. Oh, come on. Am I missing another window pane? Oh, I'm missing a window pane there. Why am I missing so many window panes? That doesn't seem right. There, there, okay, yeah. Like that. Oh, another one. That's the same thing, same idea I had before. Let's make sure. Yeah, that's right. Like there, and then we'll just cap it off there. Then I can put the glowstone right there. Because we could do the same thing on this window here. I'm just curious. I just noticed that window doesn't have any glass in it. But it's supposed to be that way because that one on that side is the same way. So Maybe I just thought it would be too boring to have them all the same. Yeah, I like that. I, let me guess. I need to get some glass to fill in those windows. There. Got all the glass in now. I just must have just forgotten to do that. So if we go to this one, I think I'm going to. Just start off by moving that. And then there. I hear an Enderman sneaking around.
see if we can get this. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, it needs to go up one more. I was wondering why it wasn't working. There. There, there, and there. Can I spruce it up? Yeah, it elevates the wall. Or thickens the wall I guess but it makes it seem a bit more su substantial because you got when you have this you know depth in there it looks pretty good because you get over here and it's a little flat so it helps to pull that out and let's just move this back again I think it makes more sense even though it's not in the original design I don't think I think it makes much more sense to have that out one. Let me get rid of those two. Yeah, that's looking uh, looking pretty good. Okay, one last thing to do. So it is a church, so we do need pews. So we're going to do like a set of pews here. They're very, very simple. Very simple. So we just have these. Yeah, that makes sense because this will be the walkway through there. And then all the little pews go through here. Yeah. And then we do the same thing over on this side. So we do this. There. Like that. So we just need to uh, run this all the way up to the front. much more like a church so we've got all our pews everything else in not sure if there's going to be more decoration on here i didn't put any stairs on this side i think that's okay because mainly people are going to enter through the aisle here so they'll come in here and you have a i guess i'm going to have to put the priest is going to be here and then i've got Two stands over here on this side and this side, which are going to be choir. And then I will populate like the here with the with the altar or the pulpit. It's a pulpit, yeah. The pulpit where the uh, priest is, I will put probably a scribe uh, villager there. But along these where the choir are, I think I'm actually going to get actual zombies and put the zomb make a zombie choir. So that should be interesting. Uh, I think I'm going to call it a day. Um, let you guys get on with uh, whatever you're doing today. And I will see you later. I thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.